What's up guys, my name is Delio, and welcome to a T7 patch on the Steam Deck install tutorial. I'm finally back. Let's go. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it. It's actually really simple and it shouldn't take too long. So let's jump straight into this. First of all, everyone, you need to load it into the desktop environment. Then you want to go to the GitHub page by Shiversoft Dev. I'll have it linked in the description for T7 patch. So... This is actually super simple. It's actually not that hard to install this. It's actually super simple. So I'm going to download the Linux Steam Deck and manual Windows install zip here, as well as the LPC patch as well. I'm going to be um, grabbing those two. So then after you do that, you basically want to go into your Steam library. You want to find your Black Ops 3 root directory. So you want to go here into the settings here, then go to browse the internal drive. All right, so now we are here in this directory. So you what you want to do, you want to go to your install zip here, grab all of these, all these files. These are all going to be grabbed and then dragged and drop into your Black Ops 3 directory like this. Drag and drop into there. I'll just overwrite them because it's not a big deal. Apply to all. Okay, so they're all in there. So that's all you have to do for that. Then if you want to get the LPC files, all you have to do is drag and drop it into your Black Ops 3 directory. I'll just overwrite all these because I already have them. It doesn't really matter. There you go. That's all you have to do. So now that's in there as well as all those other files, the D sound, all those other ones. It's literally as simple as just dragging and dropping into the folder. All right, so now what you want to do is you're going to want to find the t7patch.config file. You're going to double click, open this, and then you're essentially going to change your player name. So I'm going to change my player name to Delio. Then you're going to want to set up your network password. For this case, I'm just going to set it to some random password because why the heck not? You're going to essentially want this same password between both you and your friend when you guys are both running the patch you're going to need to use the exact same network password to essentially join lobbies and stuff all right so then all you have to do is just save just save the file there you go and then that's done now this is the thing you're going to want to copy i'll have this linked in the description you're going to need to basically put in this command in the launch options here i'll have it linked in the description so either copy just from watching this video or just copy and paste that text from the description into this box. There we go. Then on to compatibility. I'd use anything from Proton 8.0 to Proton Experimental. It doesn't really matter as long as you're using a version that is compatible with BO3. I find that Experimental just works just fine. So it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. All right, so there we go. Let's load up some BO3 and it should work. All right, so now that we're in BO3, if you look up here, you can see patch. 2.03 by Sirius. So that means that the T7 patch has worked and everything should be running all smoothly. I noticed that this fixes the stuttering in the menu as well as essentially just fixes Black Ops 3 PC. And I think this is an overall better alternative than actually using the boy client now because the boy client has a lot of issues. It's not really compatible with mods like all around enhancement or ultimate experience as far as i know so i just use black ops 3 steam with the t7 patch nowadays it is the best way you can play this game in my personal opinion and you don't have to worry about being kicked offline because you can set a password nobody can do anything to your account and stuff so that's basically the video guys hope you all enjoyed this video if you guys did and you want to see some other stuff on the channel make sure to drop a like and uh, i plan on making some more videos i'm gonna be talking about black ops 6 and stuff like that uh, making a follow-up to my previous video and as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching hope you all have a wonderful day